Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer product review. And today we are reviewing Metallic Dice Games and Fan Roll. Metallic Dice Games is a designer of custom dice. You can choose between their large variety of different types of dice on the site. The site is going to have different types of resin dice, it's going to have liquid core, metal, even something like this, which is the, it's like a silicone rubber type set. Um, and then they have dice with interesting little in things inside of them. These ones here are their dinosaur dice. They have little dinosaurs attached with inside the resin, as well as like a little sandy beach area. The different versions of metal, whether you're going to be getting something like a torched rainbow set of dice or a specific black charcoal. There's a variety of different types of dice. And we'll go into the base set of dice that I got here. The first ones here are these silicone like rubber type dice here. They feel good to the touch. They're squishy and soft but they're also nice sided. Like you don't feel like you're gonna break them, they're gonna come apart. They're kind of like a hard rubbery, like hard rubbery, like silicone feel and rolling them. You hear that kind of nice little thud sound when you drop them on the table. You can also see that they are well painted inside. The numbers are clear and easy to read. And these are a really cool, unique dice that I've actually never rolled before. I've never actually had silicone dice before. And these are really, really nice. And these are called the Sharp Edge Silicone Rubble Rubber Dice Set, the Regal ricochet dice. Uh, next up they have metal dice. They have a large variety of 16 millimeter po uh, metal poly dice sets. Uh, this one here is called Torched Rainbow. And the Torch Rainbow dice set is nice. It's got this kind of like sheen to that whenever it hits the light, you're gonna see different types of colors. Uh, these ones of course are metal, so you have to be careful when rolling them on the table. And if you'd like, you could roll them in a dice tray. Now, they also make dice trays and dice towers. Um, we'll get into these guys in a second here, but you can take them and roll them through here and they feel great. They're heavy, they're thick, they're very, very sturdy, and also very easy to read the painted numbers on them. They all are sets of seven. Most of the sets here are gonna be sets of seven different types of dice, and the set is beautiful. If you like a more sturdy, heavy feeling dice, then you can check out their metal sets. Then we're gonna come on to these guys here, the resin poly dice sets, 16 millimeters. These are called rainbow dinosaur dice. These are really beautiful, and we have some other pictures on Instagram regarding them. But these guys here, feel like your kind of average dice that you're going to get, but with some unique little twists to them. These guys here have little dinosaurs inside that are standing on a pool of sand. And each set of dice has a unique little dinosaur as well as a base for them. And when you're rolling the dice, you'll see these little dinosaurs. These are probably my wife's favorite dice set. It's Alicia's favorite dice set. They're really, really cool, really unique. I like the idea of adding some type of story, some type of image inside of dice. And they're a great conversation starter as well as they just work really well. They roll really nicely. Uh, the next set we have here is a handmade sharp edge resin dice set. They also have a liquid core. These guys are kind of unique. I haven't seen these guys in, well, I've seen them on, I think, on their Kickstarter, but these guys basically have what I would consider a snow globe effect. You'll take the die and you can shake them up and then they're going to have this kind of snow globe looking effect inside the dice as though it's like a sprinkling of snow or glitter. Uh, these guys here are a bluish tone uh, and with a kind of silver uh, glitter inside of them. And these are also all handmade. They're gonna look and feel different compared to the other poly set of dice, the other resin set of dice. They have kind of a cut edge to them. And like I said, because they're handmade, they're gonna have a unique feel to them. And I'm guessing each one you're going to get is just slightly different than the others, as well as the different options as far as color choices you'll get. A nice resin die set. Uh, this one here is a resin die, hand cast and polished, which provides unparalleled precision, which cannot be matched by mass produced tumbling dice. Each set is a carefully crafted work of art. And I believe them. I really, really like these dice. These are dice that are gonna stay in my collection because they're so unique, so interesting. We're rolling the dice and seeing the flowing a different like inside the like the, the colorful glitter and like that kind of a thing it's it's something that's kind of just really cool <laughs> uh, next they have these guys here these are called mini polyhedral dice uh, these are marble with blue numbers so they have kind of a marble coloration in them. They come in this little tiny tube here. And uh, these, look like I said, have marble. Uh, it's got like a marble texture to it, as well as the dice have this like blue finish to it. They're small, but still easy to read. They're nice to hold. This is gonna be for specific people, maybe somebody with slightly larger, sm slightly smaller hands than me. These kind of are hard to grip, but they do look beautiful. If you want like a set of tiny miniature dice, then these are not going to be a bad go-to. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is going to be their set of the uh, silicone 
dice holders, their dice tower, and their dice trays. This is a die holder. It actually has like a silicone lid to it. And when you pull it off, you'll see there are dice inside. And here is another set of dice I didn't show you. These guys here are even like they're, they're less heavy um, and they have really strong number pronunciation. You can see them and they feel good to touch. But this thing is really cool. You'll be able to set each one of your die in each of the different spaces. And it's kind of like a grab and go. You can place it in your bag or backpack and it's going to keep the dice nice and safe. And this also feels good to touch. It's got their logo right in the front there, which looks excellent. And overall, just the coloration is really cool on these things here. This is also one of those silicone rubber type things. So even if it bends and moves, it will not hurt the dice inside. This is a dice tower. Now I have some dice towers, some big ones, some large ones, some really cool looking like sturdy towers, uh, but I don't have a lot of small pocket sized ones. I have a few of them and they're mainly made out of wood, but this one is even like more interesting in the fact that these guys here, you can kind of fold. You can put it into your folder, your backpack, or your game bag, and then you can take it out for game night. And because it is metal, metal, it has magnetic strips inside here in this lining here, you can go ahead and put it together on the go pretty much anywhere and just set it down and then have your dice ready to go. You can take the dice and simply roll them through and they just go right out. And you'll see the inside has these little layering platforms, whereas they fall, they tumble, which is super awesome as well as if you want to purchase the dice tower uh, or just purchase this here this is the die rolling tray which has their logo on it as well it's very nice it has these little ability to click these guys in or if you want you could also fold it flat and it can be put into a folder as well for your DD purposes or into your game bag for if you're heading off to a con or your friend's house and of course you'll take these dice and you can roll them in here which is also super cool. Now, what I would mainly use these for is for my metal dice. And the metal dice are expensive. You don't want them to be chipped. You don't want them to chip the table. And as you can see, they have metal dice here. When you roll these guys, it protects your die, it protects the table, and it makes it quieter so that you don't have to wake up your uh, wife when you're playing late at night. <laughs> and that typically is something I would do. Playing on this table here can be quite loud. So playing on this is a lot softer, a lot nicer. So there are a variety, a plethora, if you will, uh, of different types of products that you can pick up from the site, which we'll have a link down below in the description. Uh, and there is all kinds of different colors, different sizes and shapes, a unique twist to dice with these little cute dinosaurs inside, or maybe even something with the, the, the liquid core in it. And you'll have the availability to see all those different dice. They also do a variety of custom set dice that you can kind of assign your own molds to and whatnot. And there's a variety of prices there based on a large quantity. So picking up a, set, a large set of dice, you can go there as well. And then finally, we're gonna move on to these little dice sets that you see in front of me. These are fan roll. This is called Misfit Dice Adopt uh, Misfit. And there are three different sets that I have here. I have the mini set, I have the metal set, and I have the mystery set, which are gonna be the resin dice. Basically, if you purchase a misfit set of dice, my fan roll here, it's, um, it's, it's a metallic, my metallic dice games fan roll, uh, you're going to get a set of dice, or when you're purchasing the mini, you'll get two sets of dice in a bag. So how it's gonna come is in these little bags here. You'll get to tear them, and you'll get to pull the dice out of the bag and see what you get. Now, misfit dice, are going to be a unique set of different types of die, but a full set of die for each of the bags here. It'll come out just like this, and you'll tear the top open, you'll open these guys up here, and then you'll see the different types of dice that you'll get. And while I said like it is going to be a full set of dice, a full seven set, and of course the minis will have a double set of dice, or you could choose between three different types of bags, but what you won't get to choose, the mystery variant to it, is the colors and variations of the die sets. So this is one of the metal sets that I got. And as you can see, they are all different colors. You have a silver, a gold, two unique types of purple, a red, one looks kind of like a brass or slash iron, maybe even a rusted color, and then this kind of neon blue. But they are all metal and they all stand out in their own unique way. And they are a full set of seven dice. And if you like the idea of having a mystery set of dice, then this is a really cool way to pick them up. Uh, so not only do they have metal and mini, but they also have a set of these mystery resin dice as well. And these are all gonna come in types of different types of shapes and like not shapes and sizes, but like different types of styles, different types of colors. You could be getting something that's kind of more of like a jeweled or marbled look. You could get one that's kind of a glittered uh, type of poly resin. Uh, this here inside actually has a type of glitter inside the resin as you can see. 
And this one has like a certain portion of it has kind of like this Aurora Borealis look to it. There is a variety of different cool dice you can get from Fanroll when picking up a set of misfit dice. So as you can see, Talic Dice Games slash Fanroll has made a large variety of cool dice that you can pick up if you would like. And then of course they have a ton of custom options when it comes to accessories and dice accessories that you can choose to pick up as well. Okay, so what do I think about the metallic dice that I was sent, as well as, of course, the cool Misfit dice? So you're also going to see the images and uh, short videos of us opening the Misfit dice separately on our Instagram channel and our, sh our shorts as well. I want to talk about these guys first, though. The coolest one by far, in my opinion, is the handcrafted resin dice with the liquid core that feels kind of like a snow globe when you're rolling it. I love these things. They're really unique, really cool to roll, and they're always like this topic of conversation. This is probably what I would bring to my D&D nights because it's something that they're going to see and notice, and it's going to keep kind of like make me stand out. Not like a too much of a bragging way, but enough to where they're like, ooh, that's kind of cool. Um, my second favorite are these guys here, the Regal Ricochet, the rubber dice sets the silicone rubble remember and i like these guys not only because of how they look they have a cool unique type of coloration to them because they're of silicone but how they feel in my hands how they feel to roll the sound they make they're soft they're not going to damage anything they're very quiet as well i can take these and roll them pretty much anywhere and have no issue and they just they just feel spectacular it's really cool to just kind of like touch them and 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 feel the unique <laughs> the uniqueness to these die. Uh, these are just so different, I guess, which is kind of why I like them. And they're so easy to see the difference as far as the numbers go. I, I, I dig these as well. Now, like I told you before, my wife's favorite is going to be the dinosaur ones. She loves dice that kind of have their own unique style to them, their own unique little story to them. And I think that's super cool that they kind of added this. I've seen these type before, but I think these are probably the best I've seen in a while. The idea of having a little piece of like, sand that the dinosaurs are kind of sitting on. I know it's probably hard to see from here, but I have some B-roll for you. But having a little sand these dinosaurs are sitting on, some of these come out better than others because they're easier to see the dinosaurs just based on the shape of the dice. Specifically, the six-sided dice comes out really nice. and You can see the little dinosaur kind of popping his head out. And the fact that all the dinosaurs are all either, like I think say most of them are all unique, if not all of them, is a nice little addition to having all you little different dinosaurs being thwomped out. My wife will use this for Magic the Gathering and has used it for Magic the Gathering. It's kind of a nice little storyteller as well and it has made people very interested in picking up these dice just because of how cool they are the, the products now so we have the dice tower tray now these will push through most type of dice um, I think the silicone one is the one that had the most trouble with it. The fact that it lays flat is nice. I can kind of put it into a folder or whatever and, and just put, bring it out for game nights is awesome as well. It comes with this little metallic uh, back to it. I'm not sure what that does other than maybe give it weight, but it works really well. It's not something that you need to like put a lot of thought into. You can just simply grab it and push it together like that. And then bam, you've got a dice tray and you can set it down. You can attach it to one of their like die uh, holders or rollers, uh, or you can have it separate. It's really up to you. And then if you don't want to pick up this and you just want something to roll your dice on because maybe you have some metal sets, then this is going to be a nice addition. You just simply, bam, roll it on here. It's going to be a lot quieter if you have dice that are a little bit more on the sturdy, on the loud side. And I do have quite a few sets on the loud side, as you can tell. <laughs> Uh, then we have the rubber rubber silicone mold. Uh, it's probably my least like most enthusiastic uh, choice of all of these different ideas and options. I love the dice inside them. I like the idea of holding and having dice, but I think my preferred way of using dice is in a dice bag, which they do sell as well on the site. These are cool. It's a unique option and it keeps your dice from bumping into each other. If you have very expensive dice, very nice dice, you want to protect them and keep them whole and safe, maybe something like these handcrafted ones because they're on the more pricey side, then this is something I'd probably suggest over bag as opposed to damaging or ruining your dice in any way. This is going to keep them a lot more protected. And then we finally come to the Misfit Dice by the fan roll Misfit Dice and the three different choices. And you have the metal choices, you have the mystery choices, which are going to be like the polyresin sets with unique twists and turns to them. And then you have the minis. Now, like I said before, minis probably my least, like, I guess my least favorite as far as how dice fit in my hand. They don't personally work for me that well. But when opening the dice sets, I was very, very excited to see that they gave you two sets of dice, two different seven sets of dice with the minis. So I felt like I got my bang for my buck as opposed to only getting a small seven set when the metal ones come with a seven set, but they're larger, they're heavier. These ones were probably my favorite. Did we get to see all the different types of dice, the different choices and options and colors? 
are really, really, really cool. Now, I probably won't be using these to roll too much, but I will be handing those over to my friend Alicia, who likes to roll small dice and cute dice and whatnot. These are probably something she's going to be utilizing for her games and switching them in for her games or playing with D&D with them. And then I'm going to probably use something more like these heavy metal sets. Obviously, because it's a mystery set, you'll probably like more some dice over others. And what's cool about them as well is when you pick up more than one, you can kind of interchange the different types of sets that you want to use if you would like, or even trade with friends. In fact, I'm going to be switching out a few of these dice uh, based on their set type. So I can switch out this purple one with the silver one now and kind of make my own custom bizarre set of dice. Regardless though, all the dice are high quality. They're unique. They have a nice feel to them. They have a nice texture to them. Each of them has their own benefits and uh, downgrades. So metal would be more noisy, could possibly damage things. You have to be more careful with them, uh, but they're beautiful. They're nice and heavy. They feel good to hold. The rubber ones are going to be small and are, are like squishy and soft and are going to make less noise. But maybe you don't like that texture in your hand. Maybe you're worried about them over the years getting a little bit more warped than the other dice. And then you have your standard poly dice, these guys here, and you have the ability to have custom in, um, molds inside, the custom little imprints of the dinosaurs and whatnot, but maybe they're not as heavy as you'd like them. Maybe they still make that noise that you don't want. And then of course, this one just comes down to cost, the handmade, uh, the, 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 like the, the liquid core, like the snow globe dice is what I call them. If the price is too much, maybe that's gonna be an issue for you. And then of course, the small ones are based on how well you can hold them in your hand. But regardless, because you have so many options to choose from and because all of these products are high quality, I suggest you take a look. Go ahead and look down below. There's a link in the description where you can go ahead and pick up your Misfit dice or one of your choice. Or maybe you want to make your own dice. <laughs> Fan roll and metallic dice games. It's a huge thumb up for me.